Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Dave from Chase Summit, and today we are in my little home office slash YouTube studio. I just wanted to show you around because I've gotten a lot of questions in the comments about what camera I use, what my setup is. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing my little uh, studio setup. I just got back from a run and I look kinda gross, so you're gonna have to deal with that. I apologize in advance. Before we dive into this mess, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below if you appreciated this video, and consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. So right now I'm working from home every day, and this is my little home office actually where I do my mechanical engineering work every day. Uh, so that is my, you know, nine to five, and then my five to nine, I like to call it, is uh, the Chase the Summit channel where I'm creating videos, I'm doing live streams, all those things also happen in this space. So I spend a lot of time in this room, uh, probably an unhealthy amount of time in this room, actually. <laughs> Certainly if you'd ask my wife that, she would agree. My kids are actually upstairs napping right now, so I've got the monitor over here to make sure they're not crying, they're not awake. So I figured I'd make a video real quick while they're sleeping. Okay, so I'm gonna show you around the room and uh, certain parts of it because this room is very multifunctional. It's kind of my uh, home office, it's my studio. It's also a kind of a den for my kids' sports equipment. It's also a gear room where I keep all of my ice climbing gear and skis and stuff. So let's start at the beginning. Oh yeah, and I'm filming all this on the new iPhone 12 Pro. So let me know how the video quality looks. I didn't feel like setting up my big cameras and everything. I also wanted to show you them and I can't show you them if I'm using them. So I'm filming everything on the iPhone 12 Pro right now. Okay, so over here, starting from left to right, uh, I've got my Yeti cooler up here. This area is bins. So the bottom is backpacking gear. So I've got some tents and backpacks and stuff in there. Above that is ice climbing and rock climbing gear. So I've got, you know, ice screws, my pack that's for ice climbing, uh, all that stuff, all the technical gear goes in there. So above all that stuff is where I hang my technical clothing. And anything technical that I use, you know, hiking or climbing, that includes, um, you know, mid layers, puffies, uh, hard shells, all kinds of stuff, uh, wind shells, they all get hung up here. I like to have them hung just so they don't get weird and bunched up in a draw. Below that, we've got my home printer and it somehow found its place here. I'm not sure how, but that's where it is. Uh, below that, I've got this cool kind of draw set up and I keep, I try to keep this kind of organized. The top level here is trail running stuff that is uh, water, like waterproof or water repellent. So we've got like a trail running uh, hard shell. We've got uh, the Patagonia Houdini uh, wind shell. We've got some new socks that I haven't even taken out of the package yet. Um, we've got some dry bags. Things like that. Next draw down is all food. So this is, you know, I've got Unived stuff in here. They were nice enough to send me a whole package of stuff. I've got goose uh, over here. I've got some Tailwind and, uh, you know, nuts and things like that. Below that, we've got anything that's used on your head. So that includes hats, buffs, uh, ski goggles. You know, I've also got some balaclavas here for really cold days when I'm skiing or ice climbing. And then below that is all things hand related. So that is big, heavy mittens like this, or gloves rather. Uh, we've got the Outdoor Research uh, Centrifuge gloves here. These are awesome. And I've also got these awesome electric gloves. These are the Alti Heat gloves. Uh, you charge them up and they keep your hands warm for like four hours. All right, on the top shelf of the tall cabinet, I keep all of my ice climbing boots. These are the Scarpa Phantoms. I've also got the uh, Scarpa, I forget what model these are. These are um, Alpine Touring boots for skiing. Below that, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got like a little drawer here where I keep small electronics. I've got the... Um, Garmin Instinct Mini in here. I've got some charging cables, a flashlight, a few items like that. Below that, I've got helmets. So, you know, climbing helmets, uh, skiing helmets, uh, all things that go on top of your head and protect your noggin. Okay, next to the big tall cabinet, I've got my skis. So I've got my Alpine Touring skis, my downhill skis, my wife's skis are back there. Below the skis, I've got my uh, snowshoes there. Those are the MSR, I forget the model. Uh, and then I've got my pile of retired trail running shoes, which my wife complains about, but I can't bring myself to throw them away. <laughs> okay, and up here I've got some old photos that I used to, I used to be into like photographing old buildings and I still have some of those up here. Uh, I don't really do that anymore, but I really like the ones that I took, so I keep them hung up here. And then below that, I'm, I've got something I'm really proud of. This is my uh, certificate saying that I climbed all 4,000 footers in the state of New Hampshire, all 4,000 foot peaks. There are 48 of them, including Mount Washington, which is right there. Okay, so that's kind of the gear room. All of my gear kind of lives over here. Uh, and then when we turn this way, this is where uh, the YouTube world comes in. And this whole side of the room is really dedicated uh, to the YouTube channel, all things related to uh, filming and audio production. So let's take a look 
from the left to right. So down on the floor here are some large items that I'm planning to review. I've got a massage gun back here. I've got a uh, solar generator down here, uh, a solar panel for backpacking over there. Pretty interesting stuff. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I will. And then this shelf is kind of like getting a little bit crazy. Uh, this is kind of my shelf of watches, uh, headphones, anything small, small fitness electronics. Panning to the right here, we've got my little uh, table. This has tools underneath and some stationery. And then we've got some hats here that I wear in my videos or out running. I've also got my um, camera bags here and these are when I'm out uh, with my cameras. I just grab one of these two. This is the uh, Peak Design Sling and that actually came with the uh, DJI Mini 2 that I just reviewed on my channel earlier. And then up on the wall, it's kind of where it all started in my first couple of videos. Before I even had a YouTube channel, I started sticking my uh, bibs from races up on the wall here. It which is kind of a fun way of you know recognizing what I've done um, and I still do it so every time I finish a race I put it up on the wall first hundred miler buckle and the bib from it I think one of these I think this one up here is actually the first ultra I've ever, ever finished that was a 50k um, and then I've just got other stuff this was my uh, kind of keeping track of the 4,000 footers in New Hampshire I put little pins in all the mountains to keep track of them down here I get some Matt Legrand stickers he's another fellow youtuber so go check him out and then we've got my desk and this thing is uh, kind of crazy when I do live streams and stuff this is the, what the setup looks like there's a lot of lights and buttons and cameras kind of intimidating <laughs> all right so I typically have some items in the background here whether or not I'm reviewing them at a given time I've also got my hand sanitizer there that's very important I've got my laptop here. This is the MSI GS66. It's a very powerful gaming kind of laptop, but I use it for content creation because it works great for Adobe Premiere, which I edit in. Then I've got my studio monitors here for audio. And then above that, I've got this big monitor that's actually on an articulating arm. Uh, so I can actually move it around when I'm doing live streams and stuff. To the right of that, I've got my uh, stream deck. This is the Elgato stream deck, and this is set up to go live. And if you look at the buttons, I've got like me, guest, split screen. I've got a little head count that tells me how many people are watching. So this thing is really cool. And I really love the functionality it gives me when I'm on live streams because I can just forget about touching the computer over here and just focus on what's going on in the stream deck. Lesson learned though, you don't want to push that button by accident. I actually did that earlier and went live for like two seconds. <laughs> to the right of that, I've got this uh, HDMI switcher. This is the ATEM Mini. Uh, this is a really cool device as well. It allows me to switch through cameras while I'm live streaming. Really handy because I use two cameras typically so I can show details on little objects I'm holding uh, so I have camera one camera two and if I want to I can even add two more okay behind that on the table we have a, a bunch of stuff so I've got my little GoPro down here I keep that handy in case I'm going for a run or something uh, to the right of that I actually have two solar generators and this one is the Jackery 250 watt hour generator. Down here is the RAV Power 250 watt hour generator. I have reviews coming up for these. I actually keep these on my desk because they're a really easy to, way to charge all of my devices. And I can charge all of my watches and everything simultaneously right on my desk because I don't have an outlet handy in this area. Right above that, we have the Atomos Ninja. This thing is really amazing. It's a five inch uh, monitor for filming, but it's also a recorder. So I can record directly into this onto a hard drive and edit it very easily. It's not something I always do, but sometimes I do and it makes the quality much higher. And above that is the Beast. This is my new camera. This is the Sony a7S III. It cost me way too much money, but I really like it. It gives me amazing quality. Uh, I'm really happy with it. The a7S III is coupled with the Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4. I always shoot f at f1.4. If you haven't noticed, the background of all of my videos is very blurred out. And then I've got a variable ND filter on the front of that. I leave the a7S III in this small rig cage basically 100% of the time. It just makes filming a lot easier when you need to hand hold something. You can get much steadier footage with a big handle at the top. Now I said I have two cameras and that's what I use the HDMI switcher for. I've got the Sony ZV-1 up here and this stays basically always in this position. It's on this arm that's attached to the wall and this allows me to get over, overhead shots of whatever product I'm talking about on the table. Right now I've got the DJI Mini 2 here and that was a really fun uh, review. Go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, so the Sony ZV-1 plugged into HDMI and power so it never runs out of battery. Really nice to have that always 
statically mounted there. I never have to worry about getting another camera to set up. Okay, now something new to the studio is the Zoom PodTrack P4. This is a four input uh, PodTrack recorder, but it's also a USB interface. So when I'm talking on my live streams, I use a really nice microphone plugged into the PodTrack P4 and it turns it into a digital source on my computer. I can also record my podcasts on here, which if you haven't heard already, I have a podcast now. Go check out the link in the description. And then I've got my microphone here attached to a boom arm that I can move around wherever I need it to be. Uh, I only use this microphone for live streams or podcasts. This is the Rode Pod Mic. This is an awesome microphone for only 99 bucks. Really sounds amazing. And that plugged into the PodTrack P4 is a great combination for me. And it doesn't break the bank. This whole setup was pretty inexpensive. Above that, I've got another microphone. This is the Rode NTG video mic. And this microphone I mainly use for talking head content or uh, when I'm shooting a review video. Anytime I don't wanna have a big microphone in my face, I use this on a boom arm over my head, and it also sounds really good. Up on the wall here is my shelf for uh, audio and video related stuff. So you see my camera lenses back here, I've got some SD cards over here, I've got a little dolly back there and some other stuff. It's kind of a mishmash of all things for video. And up on the screen here, I've got OBS set up. This is the streaming so software I use when I go live. Uh, it's free and it's you know really easy to set up and it works well for me. So for my lighting and my videos, my main light is up here. This is a giant softbox. Uh, I forget the brand, I think it's Photodiox, but it was very inexpensive from Amazon. Uh, and I. I think it gives me a really good light on my face when I'm talking. Uh, but besides that, I actually have this tiny light that I have this really expensive deflector on. And I use this deflector so it doesn't blow out my face when I'm talking. I don't want my face to be too bright. I just want this to light up the subjects on my desk. So that's something I'm reviewing. So I put this piece of black uh, paper on there to do that. Underneath, you can see it's just a uh, small LED light. And then behind me on the other side of the room, I've got this little hair light that I leave in the back of my videos, usually has a little accent light. This is a newer, I think it's called, uh, and it's got some barn doors on it so I can direct the light a little bit. I keep a couple of other accent lights on when I'm filming, so I've got another newer LED inside this shelf to kind of show off some of the products I have here. And then I've got a little tube light back here that shows off these products. And then I've got this little Edison bulb up here, which I really like. And that just adds a little bit of depth to the image when I'm filming. Of course, I put up some outdoorsy things for my background. I've got some ice tools here. These are my actual ice tools. These are very expensive. So I do take them down in the winter months so I can climb. And again, I've got some cams here and these are also real cams for rock climbing. Okay, I almost forgot. This is actually the top of my closet in the office and this is everything to do with data storage. I've got my network attached storage here. This is a Synology NAS. It's got four hard drives in it, uh, adding up to 40 terabytes of storage. I've got a backup drive that's 12 terabytes that backs up all of the important stuff on this drive. And then I've got my Wi-Fi 6 router up here to keep that super high speed. And I've also got a battery backup that you can't see right now that's in the back that keeps all this stuff safe if I lose power. All of my videos, all of my assets and music and stuff, they all end up on this network attached storage. And then I just edit over the internet. Actually, I use ethernet when I edit. I pull stuff off of here if I need it from older videos. And it's fast enough that it actually isn't an issue in Premiere. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, that was my YouTube studio tour slash gear room slash office slash den slash organization mess. How does the video look coming out of the iPhone 12 Pro? Is this good enough to use like vlogging and stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope that helped answer some of your questions that I've gotten into the comments regarding my audio and video setup. I really dive deep on this stuff. I really value having high quality video and audio. Let me know if I can do something better or if something could look better. I really like the feedback, so I appreciate it. If you're into these sort of videos, let me know down below. I typically don't dive into my personal space, but I figured it'd be kind of cool to show what's going on behind the scenes here. I've got a whole bunch of products to review that are sitting in this shelf over here and they'll be coming up soon. If you're into these kinds of videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.